Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another morning of the Breakfast Blog. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I did. I had a good weekend, and I hope everybody's ready to get fed this morning. The title of this message this morning, or this story, is going to be The Secret of the Acts. Let's get into it. While on one of our walks, we came across a groundskeeper. He was cutting down a small tree with an axe. If the axe is dull, said the teacher, and one does not sharpen its edge, then more strength must be exerted. It's from the book of Ecclesiastes. In other words, if you use an axe with a dull edge, the energy you expend and the power you apply will be spread out and dissipated over a dull edge. The axe becomes inefficient and ineffective. You need to put more time, you need to put in more time, energy, or force to accomplish the same amount of work. On the other hand, if the axe edge is sharp, it will focus and concentrate your energy and power. Therefore, it will take less time, energy, and force to accomplish more. I'll remember that, I said, when I cut down my next tree. You won't cut down trees, he said, but you will still need to remember it. Why, I said, because it can change the way you live. How? Replace the word axe with the words, your life. If your life is dull and you don't sharpen its edge, then more strength must be exerted. A dull edge is one that is less focused. It doesn't converge to a single point. The same with your life. If your life isn't focused, if your life doesn't have a single focus, if it's spread out in many directions or with unclear purpose, then it will have a dull edge. But if you apply to your life the secret of the axe, if you sharpen your life, how, I ask. First, you need to have a clear focus and aim. Then you need to bring everything into your life into harmony with that focus and aim so that everything you do is consistent with that aim and converges to that focus. Then your life will have a sharp edge. Then your life will become powerful. Such were the lives of the giants of scripture from Elijah to Paul to the Messiah. Live life with a sharp axe, a focused edge, and your energy, your strength, and your efforts will be multiplied. Make God the point of everything you do. Make his will the aim of your life and his purpose the focus of your life. Sharpen the axe and the tree will fall. The mission today. Today, sharpen your axe, focus your life, make God and his purposes the point, the aim, the goal of everything you do. And your reading is going to come out of Ecclesiastes 10.10, 10, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27, and Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. I hope y'all got something out of that this morning. The secret of the axe. You got to keep yourself sharp at all times. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this word this morning. Lord, we hope that this word come and just dwell inside of us and grow inside of us, Father God. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for your mercy, travel, your mercy traveling grace. We pray for our family members, Father God, that you just keep your angels encamped around them, Lord. And we pray for the sick and shut in, Father God, that you comfort them, Father God, and heal their bodies in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray for our enemies today, Father God, that they may come to know you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can't wait to see you on the next Breakfast Blog.